Hi, it's me, Ida. I'm sorry if my English is not good because I usually speak English, Thai, and English <laughs> like shitty English. I have two sugar gliders. Sugar gliders is an like exotic animal. It's not illegal in Thailand to pet. So it's okay to pet sugar glider. I have two of them. The first one is a baby girl. Her name is Punk. And it was just a funny name. When people ask me like, Ida, why do you name your pet as Punk? So I can call her you little Punk. Good girl. Lovely girl. And then when she grew up, I got a second one, the second sugar glider, a baby boy called Poopy. After I got my Poopy, Pong and Poopy got with each other really, really good. I was surprised. I was so happy. Play together, sleep together, and hug each other, cuddle all the time grooming each other. I love it. Booby is not that friendly to me. When I'm trying to grab him, I'm trying to touch him, he was just like grabbing and uh, like making noise. But it's okay. I don't really mind. I just want to see them like having a good time together. Pong was around seven months and now Booby is around like almost four months. Um, several days ago I woke up in the morning, opened the door and I saw Punk lay down on the floor. When I saw her I knew that something happened because they're not gonna lay down on the floor because they usually just like sleep in a dark corner with the blankets and stuff. And then I touch her, her body was cold and hard and I knew that she, she is dead. I don't know, I, I scream and I don't, I don't know what to do. And I saw stuff on the floor too. Maybe she was like playing around and climb stuff and something just fell on her. Because she's pretty healthy, I I took them to the vet recently. They they're really healthy. I can't believe that my baby girl is dead. I grab her, I put her on my hands like this, and her body was so cold and hot, but her hair was still soft. As always, I grab her like this. She just looked like she was just sleeping, but she's not there anymore. And I just, I couldn't stop myself crying. I couldn't handle that. I just grab her like that. And then I went downstairs and I buried her under a tree. I guess she would be warm and nice under the tree. It was so sad for me because I spent my time, like all the time, with them. After Pong's dead, Booby seems not happy. He didn't even drink milk, he didn't even touch any food, any fruit at all. He just sleep all day, didn't do anything, he didn't play at night and probably never ever barked before but after Pong's dead, he barked a lot at night and I don't know what to do because he never be lonely and I feel terrible that I can't even take care of his sister. I just let her die. I don't know. I know it was an accident but terrible and feel guilty that I don't know. I should have done something to avoid any accident. I don't know.